In the dim light of a waning moon, the old Victorian mansion stood atop the hill, its silhouette a menacing presence against the night sky. Locals whispered tales of its cursed history, warning all who dared approach. But curiosity got the better of a group of friends one Halloween night. As they climbed the creaking steps to the mansion's front door, a bone-chilling wind howled through the trees. The door swung open with a groan, and they hesitantly stepped into the gloomy foyer. Shadows danced on the walls, and the air grew colder with every step. A flickering candle on a dusty table cast eerie shadows as they explored room after room. Each was more decrepit than the last, filled with broken furniture and faded portraits of long-forgotten residents. They could feel eyes upon them, even though they were supposedly alone. Upstairs, a door slammed shut, sending them scrambling back down the stairs. Panic set in as they realized they were trapped. The walls seemed to close in around them, and strange whispers echoed through the house. In the candlelit darkness, they heard footsteps, slow and deliberate, approaching from the hallway. Frozen in terror, they turned to see a figure cloaked in tattered rags, its face obscured by darkness. It beckoned them to follow with a bony, skeletal hand. Unable to resist, they followed the figure through a maze of corridors that seemed to twist and shift. They entered a room bathed in an otherworldly crimson glow. There, they saw a specter of a woman, her eyes hollow and her voice a mournful lament. She spoke of a tragedy that had befallen the mansion long ago, of a curse that bound her restless soul to this place. Desperate to escape, they pleaded for mercy. The specter's laughter filled the room, chilling them to the core. There is no escape, she whispered. This house is hungry for souls, and it has chosen yours. As the walls closed in around them, and the specter's laughter grew louder, they realized that they had become part of the mansion's dark history. Their fate was sealed, forever trapped in the haunted house on the hill, another chapter in its endless nightmare. Deep within the heart of the forest, hidden away from the world, lay the cursed graveyard of whispering pines. For centuries, this desolate place had been shrouded in mystery and fear, a chilling tale passed down through generations. On a moonless night, four friends dared to venture into the forbidden territory. Their flashlights cut through the thick fog that clung to the gravestones like a ghostly shroud. As they explored the crumbling tombs, Whispers in the wind seemed to call their names. Suddenly, a spectral figure emerged from the shadows. It was the ghost of a long-forgotten soul, its eyes hollow and filled with sorrow. It beckoned them closer, its voice a haunting melody that chilled their bones. Terrified but unable to resist, they followed the ghost deeper into the graveyard. The tombstones began to glow with an eerie light, and the ground trembled beneath their feet. The very earth seemed to come alive with the restless spirits of the deceased. One by one, the friends were ensnared by skeletal hands that burst from the ground. They cried out in terror as the ghosts of the graveyard pulled them into the earth, their screams echoing through the night. Only one friend managed to escape, running from the cursed graveyard as fast as their legs could carry them. As they stumbled through the forest, they glanced back one last time and saw the ghostly figures rising from their graves, reaching out for the lost souls they had claimed. The haunted graveyard of Whispering Pines remained a place of dread, a grim reminder of the peril that awaited those who dared to trespass upon its accursed grounds. The chilling whispers of the restless spirits would forever haunt the memories of those who survived that night, a gruesome testament to the darkness that dwelled within the graveyard's depths. As darkness shrouded the moonlit ocean, a lone fishing boat rocked gently on the waves. Captain John and his crew had heard the legends, but they never believed them until now. A chilling mist rolled in from the horizon, obscuring their view of the distant shore. The crew's unease grew as eerie whispers echoed through the fog. 
Suddenly, a massive shadow emerged from the depths, its eyes gleaming with malevolence. It was a sea monster, a creature of nightmare, with tentacles that reached out like sinister serpents. The boat creaked as the beast's colossal form circled them, its tentacles slithering closer. Panic gripped the crew as they realized there was no escape. The monster's gaping maw opened wide, revealing rows of razor-sharp teeth. With a deafening roar, it lunged at the boat, its tentacles ensnaring the vessel in an inescapable grip. Desperate cries filled the air as the crew fought to break free, but it was futile. The sea monster's grip tightened, and with a bone-chilling snap, the boat was crushed into splinters. Captain John and his crew were swallowed by the abyss, their terrified screams silenced forever beneath the unforgiving waves. Legend had become horrifying reality that fateful night as the sea monster continued its dark reign beneath the moonlit sea, a terror that would haunt the ocean's depths for eternity.